Toe the line. Understanding. Toe the wrecked car. Hello, and welcome to today's lesson. If you're learning English, you might find certain phrases a bit puzzling. Today, we're going to break down the phrase, tow the wrecked car. This phrase is not just about cars. It's a great example of how English uses specific words to describe actions and situations. Let's dive in and demystify this phrase together. First things first, let's understand the components of tow the wrecked car. The phrase can be split into two main parts, tow and wrecked car. Tow. To tow something means to pull or drag it behind another vehicle, using a rope, chain, or tow bar. This is often done when a vehicle cannot move on its own. Wrecked car. A wrecked car is a vehicle that has been damaged, usually in an accident, to the point where it can't be driven. It might have dents, broken parts, or other severe damage. Putting it together, tow the wrecked car means to pull a damaged vehicle using another vehicle so that it can be moved from one place to another, usually because it cannot move by itself. Understanding when and how to use the phrase is crucial. Tow the wrecked car is a practical phrase used in situations involving vehicles. Here are a few examples. After an accident, the police might say, we need to tow the wrecked car to clear the road. If you're calling a service for help, you might say, my car crashed. Can you tow the wrecked car to a garage? This phrase is useful in any context where there is a need to move a damaged vehicle that is not capable of moving on its own. Imagine a scenario where a car has an accident on a busy road. The car is damaged and cannot be driven away. A tow truck arrives, attaches a cable to the damaged vehicle, and slowly pulls it away from the traffic. This action of pulling the damaged car away is what we mean by, tow the wrecked car. Visualizing this scenario can help you remember the phrase and its meaning. Today, we've explored the phrase, tow the wrecked car, understanding its components, usage, and the action it describes. English is full of phrases that describe specific actions and situations, and learning them can be both fun and challenging. I hope this video has made this particular phrase clearer and that you can confidently use it in the appropriate context. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!